Yo, what's going on YouTube? Back again, it's the Brat Man. Today we have a 2018 Honda Grom, also known as the uh, 125 MSX, I believe overseas, they call it that. But uh, in the United States, this is the Grom. So uh, this is a full walk around of this bike. This bike is for sale. Um, I don't, we don't ride it that much, so I figured I'd put it up for sale. Uh, it's a great bike. Um, it only has 600, 660 miles or 660 miles or something like that on it. Uh, it was, you know, barely ridden. Uh, it was never abused, never molested. This bike is in really good shape. Uh, I have a full work order on this bike. What I did, I did a few, uh, basically what I did was I did the regular maintenance to this bike. Uh, nothing crazy. But this bike is uh, all original. Except for the uh, the uh, the only modification was done was the rear fender eliminator kit, which removes the bulky, long, ugly tail section that like comes out to here. So uh, you can see that has been done. So it doesn't have that ugly uh, tail section, but the LEDs are still in here to light the license plate off. It's still DOT spec, so it'll pass inspection in any state. So it's all lit up. You can see the LEDs lit, and all the turn signals work. You can see the Blinkers, everything works, everything's functioning. Uh, it's got the, uh, all the lights work, everything works. The factory LED tail light works perfect. Uh, LED headlights. Um, part of the Honda Grom success has been its fuel economy, uh, its fuel economy rating of 134 miles per gallon, which is pretty insane, folks. I mean, gas prices these days, it's insane. So uh, we all know you know, the gas prices aren't all that great right now. So you can hop on this thing, take this down to the beach, cruise it down the strip, hop right on this beast and you're, you're good to go. 134 miles to the gallon, folks. 134 miles per gallon. Yes, 134 miles per gallon. Unbelievable. Uh, the Grom has Sport Bike Dynamics factory LED headlight, uh, high and low beam factory LED tail light. It has full electronic digital dashboard. Check it out. Got a full electronic digital dashboard. Check it out here. You can see the uh, see the mileage. It's got 688 on it, and uh, it does have a catalytic converter for emissions. But most people remove the stock exhaust for an aftermarket pipe for you know a more throaty growl. Uh, it does have a catalytic converter from the factory, which is that's uh, for emissions. So uh, you take that off at your own risk. But it still has the factory exhaust on it. Um, I think it has one little small little scuff right here, just very minor, but it's just dusty. Other than that, the paint is in great shape. There's no scratches on it or anything, nothing crazy. That's in really good shape. The bike's very clean. Uh, most people, like I said, most people remove that stock exhaust for an aftermarket one for a better sound. It has front and rear disc brakes, and it does have uh, upside down forks, which is really cool. It's got the upside down forks on it. Uh, the suspension's really nice for being, you know, for a Grom, it's actually really nice. Even has little paint speckles. Check that out. See the little paint speckles in the uh, see on the top there. Isn't that cool? The detail they went in. They went into some crazy detail on this bike, man, from the factory. It's really cool. It's even got a uh, a cool switchblade key, which is really neat. Uh, it folds down and you press the button. Wow, check that out, folks. Isn't that cool? Even says Honda on it. See that? Wow, so cool. But yeah, so anyway, uh, front rear disc brakes, upside down front forks, uh, has a modern a mono shock as you as found on most newer bikes after 1987. It's got the single mono shock in there. Uh, you can find that on all newer bikes after 1987 basically. And then, uh, like I said, the only modification done to this was the tail section here. Uh, that's, you know, nobody wants that ugly bulky fender that comes all the way down to here. It's very ugly. So the engine specs on this bike, it's a single cylinder, 125cc, single overhead cam, two valve. It's The board stroke is uh, 52.4 millimeter, 57.9 millimeter stroke. Compression ratio is 9.3 to 1. Factory. Fueling is uh, fuel injected. It has the PG... The PGM FI, uh, the intelligent, the, the, they call it the uh, fuel injection, but it has the intelligent, um, what do you call it? 
uh, automatic fuel enrichment. So basically it does everything for you. The computer does all that, uh, you know, fuel enrichment for you. And it does, and it's air cooled. It's no, there's no radiator on this bike at all. It's strictly air cooled. And uh, transmission's a four speed manual with a clutch. So you do have a clutch up here. It is not automatic. It's got a clutch and it's a four speed. Yes, four speed. I know the newer Groms are five speed now, but this is a four speed. But personally, I like the older Groms better. I think these look a lot better than the newer ones. You can't beat this, this, this body style. They started this in 2017, and 2017 to uh, 2020, and I think 2021, they, I think they changed it, 2022. Yeah, 21, 22, they changed the whole bike. It kind of looks like a, uh, looks like a grasshopper. Like it looks, it looks really weird. It looks like a, it looks like a grasshopper. Like if you want to buy a bike that looks like a grasshopper, then get a brand new Grom because it looks like a grasshopper. So yeah, um, oh, and it's chain driven. You can see the chain; it's in great shape. Check that out. The chain's in good shape. Everything's nice. Uh, you got your, uh, your, uh, you know, your foot traditional foot shift, and the bike is one down, three up on the gears and this bike is uh, uh what i want to say on the work order on this bike it has uh oem honda gn4 oil 1040 spec what it calls for that's exactly what went in there the oil screen was cleaned because this bike does not have an oil filter there's an oil screen in there folks and the oil screen has to be cleaned so uh the bike was gone through the screen was cleaned out, which wasn't that dirty. It's got a brand new gasket and the oil spinner. There's an oil spinner in there. That was cleaned. So it was done properly. It has a fresh in, fresh NGK spark plug put in there. Just specifically for the Grom. See? NGK, baby. NGK. Oh yeah. So we got a fresh spark plug in there and an air filter. Absolutely no issues with this bike. No issues with this bike. This bike is perfect starts right up and uh, the bike's ready to go it needs nothing it's ready to ride so like I said I'm just selling it because I don't ride it that much so you know I'm just trying to make some more room I, you know, I thought I was gonna ride it more but I really don't ride it too much it, it's a great bike to ride because you can hop out on it at 10 o'clock at night and you don't have to worry about waking up the neighbors just turn the key and then uh, starts right up It's so quiet, you can't even hear it. I'm louder than the bike is. Nice quiet engine. Engine's very quiet, you can't even hear it running. No tapping, no noises, no ticking, no leaks, nothing. Brand new. It's like brand new. All the turns work. Turn signals, look at that. Is that nice lights on there? How nice is that? And this bike doesn't even pollute. You kind of lift inverter. No pollution at all. So, uh, cut that out for a minute. So what I like about this bike is, the best thing about this bike is the exhaust is so quiet. That's a great bike. The main reason why I like this bike is I can go out on it at 10 o'clock at night and not wake the neighbors up. They don't even know I'm out riding around. That's what I like about it. But hey, if you want to put an aftermarket pipe on there, be my guest. You can go ahead and put a Yosha mirror, make it brat brat, groggy groggy. You know what I mean? So, uh, very comfortable bike. Uh, it sits two people. You can fit two people on there. You know? Pegs hold down. You know what I mean? Buy two people in here if you want. Put your girlfriend on the back. Take off into the sunset and the beach. Brat, brat. And uh, it does have storage under the seat. Not much storage, but you can uh, you can put a you can put your papers in here. Uh, you can put your papers, or maybe you can put a small can of beer in there. I don't know. You can try that. But it, all the paperwork's in here, and. Uh, 
I want YouTube to see all my information. So, but yeah, all the information goes in there. It's pretty cool. So uh, yeah, you do have some storage under here uh, for some papers and stuff, but it's a little dusty. But yeah, other than that, uh, great bike. You should buy it right now because the price is right. Uh, I think the price is more than fair. Actually, I think I, I have this price really, really low. I just want it to move. But uh, when springtime comes around, these things are gonna go back up. And they're gonna be like three grand, 3,200. But this bike is a, is a fine example of an unmolested Grom. So if you want something clean like new without paying all those dealer fees and, and uh, dock fees and prep fees and this fees, buy it private. So clean title on my name, ready to roll folks. Ready to go. So uh, be back soon with some more videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll be back soon. Peace and hair grease. See you.